because we are told that over 20 people are contesting as independent candidates and that they were formerly members of the New Patriotic Party. Several names have been trending on the internet with many describing it as a worrying trend for the New Patriotic Party. TV3 cannot independently verify the list that is being bandied about on the internet but submission of nominations ended on Friday from the Electoral Commission. I would want to get details on this particular story and we've been joined on the line by Martin J. Mensa Corsa. He's the Director of Elections of the New Patriotic Party. Martin, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. And thanks for having me. Good. Um, can you confirm uh, whether or not some members of your party have decided to go independent? And if yes, can you help us with the numbers? Well, first of all, let me say that uh, there is some falsehood, absolute falsehood, being peddled about by some members of the society. What the motivates, only them can tell. I have seen or heard some news making the rounds, quoting certain numbers as NPP people going independent. And a number of places, I mean constituencies, have been mentioned. Checks by us indicate they are completely false. And I want to assure our rank and file to disregard this information. You may recall that immediately after the primary, in some pockets of places, there had been some issues that arose out of the families. Right. You may talk of the Abilokuma West, Rosu Klote Kole, Sunyani. These are, for me, what we have heard. And there is some confirmation to that effect somehow. The forms have been picked. But beyond this, all the other stories that you hear are all hoax. They are not true. They are false. There but was a case in Bantama where due to some form of miscommunication, okay. the member of parliament filed or sent his document. Right. And that I can speak to you about. That okay. indeed, so, that so, happened because uh, from his explanation, there has been some miscommunication that happened. But he subsequently has withdrawn the, 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 the filing. And so it is not as being put out there by some individual. So you are saying that the Bantama, sure. the Bantama yes. story that uh, broke over the weekend is also not true, and that uh, although there were reports of even uh, his resignation letter circulating on social media, it well, is not true. Well, he denies that flatly. He denies that flatly. Though he had sent his documents to file, he has explained why that happened. Okay. We can understand that to be a miscommunication, right. but there has been no resignation on his part as he made us believe and indeed as he has denied publicly okay. so one is not too sure why some people would want to concoct cricket this and circulate around right, right. Martin, so the, the, the list the of so called number of places where there are anti uh, uh, independent right martin so the list of about 22 names um, making rounds in the social media are these persons uh, do you I'll know any of the it's names it's completely falsehood it's not true all of it it's not true i've told you where there are issues and you followed me with the count. I mentioned Sunyani is where you know out of challenges with the primaries, some issues came up. All I right, mentioned so Klotel Kole, I mentioned Ablokuma West. And, and so what, what For really instance, then... I live in Ladadi Kotopon. Okay. I've seen a list going around saying that there's an NPP and independent candidate in Ladadi Kotopon. Come here verify whether there is any such thing. It's not true. Okay, so, so for the, for the constituencies you've mentioned, uh, Martin, if you can just indulge me, the constituencies you've mentioned, that's Sunyani, uh, East Ablekuma, West Osuklote, uh, let's leave out the Bantama issue because you've, rectified, you've clarified that. Of these three constituencies you've mentioned, what is happening? Have they declared that they are going independent or not? I'm saying that these are where the party had had challenges after the primary. Okay. That even before filing on Thursday and Friday, you, talking to me, may have seen people put posters and so on, that you are going independent. Unless you are not aware of that. You are. And so those are the issues that I want to refer to and say, if anybody had decided to even go independent, or there were challenges of issues of independence, these are the places that I can speak of. But not any of the concocted ones that is making the round. Okay. It's false. It's so for also, for also, Clote, we it is now clear that the NPP person there that was known He's saying he's going independent. That's the situation, right? What I'm saying to you is that forget about whoever is going independent to them. I'm saying that. No, we just want to focus on this. We just want to focus on the three that you have that mentioned. 
The three you've mentioned, we just want clarity on it. I'm not giving you any clarity on anything. I'm saying that. Ignore the falsehood that is going on. And I'm again telling you that before Thursday and Friday, when the EC file, you may have seen posters of okay. supposed NTP people in these three places who have said that they were going independent. The party continues to engage them as of now. Those ones, okay. That is what I'm All right. to, but not the rumors and the fabrications that are being making the round. I don't Thank want to you. signify that with any response. Thank you. Thank you very much, Martin. Uh, Jay Sakosa. Uh, he's the director of elections for the New Patriotic Party. And um, it's still an unfolding story. We'll see what information we have is that the EC is currently uh, vetting the nomination forms that were presented. You remember that it closed on Friday. So we'll bring you details uh, as and when they become available.